Hi, I'm Jordan Pease, and I saw the crepe parcel bake on the Tastemade app, and I thought, I can make that. I can make that. I can make that. I can make that. First, we are going to collect our ingredients. Milk, we need some milk. Oh my god. Who put Zinfandel in here? A little rose for the rogue. Some pink Himalayan sea salt because I'm a bougie bitch. And a lemon. All right. Oh, those are definitely fake. Um, lemon, coming in. Oh! Oh, is this the chicken? I think this is chicken. No. Oh! Tuna. This has to be immediately sampled. Oh, I'm so good. Let's get a blender. Oh, wait, before we blend, rose. Mm. Holy water. We're gonna add in the milk, water, flour, and eggs. Small rose break. Mm. Ooh, tart. We need two tablespoons of melted butter. Ugh, this thing. I feel like it's gonna drive itself off the counter at any moment. <laughs> okay, so we're also gonna do our one cup of all-purpose flour. Whose grandma gave these to us? <laughs> Maybe I should just scoop it. No, nope, it doesn't fit. Come on. Oh, shit. That's what I was afraid was gonna happen. One cup of all-purpose flour. How do you measure salt? One. Two. Okay, our butter should be melted. Oh my god, it's blowing up in the thing. Oh, heaven. That's insane. I put a full bar in. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I think honestly, now that's what's left that I spilled half of it is two tablespoons. So that actually worked out just like I planned from the start. Hold on, I need to have a stress sip. My hand's shaking. Stressed. We are going to blend until smooth. Puree. That sounds nice. Step two, I will be making my bechamel sauce. Is it bechamel? I feel like it's probably bechamel. Fun fact while I make the butter, if you put rosé in the freezer, you could have some froze. Now we're going to stir in the flour and cook more flour? You're right, fine, more flour. Stir the flour until it cooks out, like until it disappears. Milk, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. The stuff that smells like Christmas. Do you crack it? Nope. No. Oh. Perfect. This looks like some sort of cannibalistic torture tool. There goes the skin on my fingers. Stress drink. Our bechamel sauce is done. It's pretty thick. Oh, is it supposed to have oil? For the filling in a heavy bottomed pan, on a medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Whoa, okay. Let's relax a little bit, sir. There is no medium on the stove. It's like straight up inferno only. <laughs> add garlic and cook until aromatic, which means until it smells Vibrant, fresh, and lovely. Yeah! I also love garlic, so I'm gonna put in a fourth one. It makes everyone know that you're single when you really add in the extra garlic. And I like to fart. <laughs> it is very aromatic already. My eyes are burning a little bit from all the garlic, but that's keeps the vampires away. It really does smell like tuna, though. Okay, so maybe we're having a tuna crepe. Maybe we're having a chicken crepe. Usually my chicken isn't this watery, but do you know what it is? Tuna. Three cups of fresh spinach. That's like impossible to measure. It seems like there's like not enough water or something. Oh wait, also lemon juice, shit. I knew what I was missing something. We are going to now make the crepe itself. So we are going to lightly oil a frying pan, pour one fourth cup of batter. That doesn't seem like that much with a circular motion until the batter coats the surface evenly. So now we flip it. Oh! Oh shit, it's folding. Damn, I had it, I had it. Now we assemble. Place crepe on a baking sheet or a cast iron pan. Holy shit, this is heavy. Okay, two tablespoons of filling. I feel like you can't tell me how much filling I want though. That seems like kind of bossy. Whoa. 
this looks so good. All my axes are like, damn, I only thought he had cereal. Let me fold it. Is it super hot? It is not super hot. And then pour sauce over the crepes. Oh, and I broil it. Okay, oh shit, I probably should have preheated something. Really, I'm gonna garnish it with a little lemon. A little extra, maybe give it, give the sauce some, some like life. And it goes. The sauce is not a sauce. It is a chunk, but the crepe looks Pretty good. Look at that. Yum. This is really a try at your own risk sort of situation. Um, actually, it's kind of saucy. Let's try this five star crepe. I really hope it's chicken. <laughs> Judges. Bomb. So good. Honestly. The crepe has enough flavor alone. It does not need the sauce. But the sauce, as chunky as it is, I would like to say is also pretty good.